Hello everyone. Welcome back to Promine classes. Hope that you all are doing well. As we are doing with our NCERT series, we are doing NCERT class 6 the geography. And today we will study chapter number 6 that is major landforms of the earth. So we have seen that the surface of the earth is not similar everywhere. The earth has an infinite variety of forms. We see that some area of the earth is on height and some are deeper. Some areas are flat and some are slope. So these different kind of features are known as landforms of the earth. Now can you tell me why the surface of earth is not similar everywhere? and why such features of the earth is created well you will be surprised to know that on the ground which we stand moves slowly within the earth surface there is always a continuous movement taking place surface and within the surface of earth there is two process taking place so the first process or the internal process that leads to the upliftment and sinking of the earth surface at several places and the examples are mountains plateaus and valleys while the second process or the external process it is a continuous wearing down and rebuilding of land surface the wearing away of the earth surface is called erosion and due to erosion when erosion takes place the surface gets lowered and due to deposition process the surface gets rebuilt so these two process are carried out by running water ice and wind we can group different landforms depending on elevation and slopes as mountains plateaus and plains so these two process that is internal process and external process are result to landform and this is how the landform is made so hope you understand what are the process of landform and how it is made and what are the contributions of uh, first process or internal process and second process or external process now we will study about mountains so a mountain is any natural elevation of the earth surface and the mountains may have a small summit and a broad base it is considerably higher than the surrounding areas and some mountains are even higher than the clouds and what happens that when you go higher the climate becomes colder in some mountains there are permanently frozen rivers of ice and what are they called they are called glaciers and because of unfavorable climate less people live in the mountain areas and since the slopes are steep so what happened that land for agriculture farming is less available over here so there are some mountains which we can see and there are some mountains which we are unable to see because the mountains are under the sea or oceans and what are they called they are called undersea mountains and the examples is mauna kea that is in hawaii in pacific ocean is an undersea mountain and it is higher than mount everest and its height is 10205 meters and mountains may arranged in a line known as range and many mountain system consist of a series of parallel range and that extends over hundred of kilometers what are the examples they are the himalayan range in asia the alps range in europe and the edens range in south america and also mountain varies in their heights and shapes they are different Now we will study about the types of mountains. Basically there are three types of mountains. And what are they? Fold mountain, block mountain and volcanic mountain. Now we will study each mountain in detail. 
so we'll start with the fold mountain so fold mountains are created where two or more of the tectonic plates are pushed together and what are the example the himalayan mountains the alps are the young fold mountains with ridged relief and high conical peaks the aravalli range in india is one of the oldest fold mountain system in the world and the range has considerably worn down due to the process of erosion the appalachians in north america the ural mountains in russia have rounded features and low elevation and they are very old fold mountains block mountain block mountains are created when large areas are broken and displaced vertically the uplifted blocks are termed as horst and the lower blocks are called graben the ran valley and the vosges mountains in europe are the examples of such mountain system volcanic mountain volcanic mountains are formed due to volcanic activities and what are the examples mount kilimanjaro in africa and mount fujiyama in japan are such mountains now what are the benefits of mountains mountains are very useful the mountains are also storehouse of water now you see that many rivers have their sources in the glaciers in the mountains reservoirs are made and the water is filtered and stored for the use of people water from the mountains is also used for irrigation and generation of hydroelectricity the river valleys and terraces are ideal for the cultivations of crops and mountains have a rich variety of flora and fauna flora means flower and fauna means animals the forest provides fuel wood fodder shelter and other products like gums and resins mountains provide an idyllic site for tourist several sports like paragliding hang gliding river rafting and skiing are popular in the mountains gulmarg pehalgam kufri manali narkanda solang nala auli munsiari mundali yamthang puni tavang these all are the places in himalayas that are associated with this sport now we'll study about plateau a plateau is an elevated flat land it is a flat top to table land standing above the surrounding areas a plateau may have one or more sides with steep slopes the height of plateaus often varies from few hundred meters to several thousand meters plateau like mountains may be young or old the deccan plateau in india is one of the oldest plateau the east african plateau in kenya tanzania and uganda and the western plateau of australia are some examples the tibet plateau is the highest largest and youngest plateau in the world and the height is 4000 to 6000 meter above the mean sea level now we will see about the benefits of plateaus so plateaus are very useful because they are rich in mineral deposits as a result many of this mining areas in the world are located in plateau areas the deccan plateau is very rich in minerals and precious stone major minerals found here includes coal iron ore abastos chromite mica 
and kainite in india huge reserves of iron coal and magnesium are found in chhota nagpur plateau the diamond mines of golconda plateau kolar gold field is located at kolar plateau and that is situated in the state of karnataka african plateau is famous for golds and diamond mining in the plateau area there may be several waterfalls as the river falls from a great height in india the hundru falls in chhota nagpur plateau on the river subrana rekha and the jog falls in karnataka are the examples of such waterfalls the lava plateaus are rich in black soil that are fertile and good for cultivation many plateaus have scenic spot and are of great attraction to the tourist now we will study about plains plains are large stretches of flat land they are generally not more than 200 meters above mean sea level some plains are extremely level and others may be slightly rolling and undulating most of the plains are formed by rivers and their tributaries the rivers flow down the slope of mountains and erode them they carry forward the eroded material then they deposit their load consisting of stones sands silt along their course and in their valleys it is from this deposit that plains are formed plains are very fertile and the constructions of transport network is easy thus what happens that you will see plains are very thickly populated region of the world and some of the largest plains made by the rivers are found in asia and north america so in asia the plains are formed by ganga and brahmaputra in india and yangtze in china now we will see the benefits of plains plains are the most useful area for human habitation there is a great concentration of people as more flat land is available for building house as well as for cultivation because of fertile soil the land is highly productive for cultivation in india too the indo gangetic plains are most densely populated regions of the country now we will see about the land forms and the people humans have been living on different kinds of land form in different ways and life is difficult in mountainous areas and plains provide much better condition it is easy to grow crops build house or road in a plain than a mountain different land forms have different human shelters we will see some examples of different land forms with different human shelter so the examples are tundra region in tundra region igloo is made and it is also known as snow house or snow hut so houses in tundra regions are being made up of snow because there is no other resources availability for the infrastructure likewise you can see the traditional building material in sahara desert it is adobe and adobe is the thick walls made up of adobe blocks and adobe blocks is the mixture of clay sand straw and water which were originally dried in hot summer sun and these types of houses which is the thick wall hold the heat in and keep the winter outside now you might see that in india many hilly areas like himachal pradesh jammu and kashmir so what happens the region have a slanting roof and not a flat roof and this is because 
mountain regions receives heavy rainfall and snow thus to prevent water and snow to be accumulated and that is why they have a slanting roof rather than the flat roof so this were some different landforms example for the human shelter sometimes natural calamities such as earthquake volcanic eruption storms and floods causes widespread destruction and due to all this there is a huge loss of life and properties so for preventing such natural calamities what we can do we can create awareness about such incidents and that will lower the rise of natural calamities and we should build our houses on the basis of landform according to the landforms on which we are living and as well as we can take advice from organizations and governments which are engaged in disaster risk reduction awareness so uses of land and water now we will see the uses of land and water so land first we will see about the land so lands are used in many ways for like building houses for shelter schools hospitals industrial areas park and roads and other transportation system even land is used for agriculture cultivation forestry mining for pond lakes wells now we will see about water water is very essential for our life and we use it for drinking and cleaning for irrigation for the generation of hydroelectricity power for aquaculture so what is aquaculture so it is the rearing of aquatic animals or the cultivations of aquatic plants for food some examples of uh, aquaculture includes fish farming and uh, oyster farming mariculture algae culture that is uh, seaweed farming etc now you see that sometimes we misuse the land and water so how we misuse it like we build house on a fertile land and because of that one cultivated land is getting lessen then throwing garbage in land and water and making them dirty for human use and also polluting them and making the environment to uh, polluted so like this we are misusing it and also we use uh, pesticides and fertilizers more for agriculture and cultivation for the good crops but what are the side effect it loses the fertility of soil and uh, that affects the land the living beings plants animals whole environment so it is our duty to save and clean our environment for better today and better future so we can give our coming generation a better and clean environment and uh, in india the government is taking initial steps for making our environment clean and better and uh, one such as swachh bharat mission healthy mind lives in healthy body and for healthy body clean environment particularly clean water air and hygienic surroundings are pre request and swachh bharat mission is a government of india program aims to achieve all this for people and make the world a better place so here we are completed with our chapter hope that your concepts are cleared and hope that you like our video you like our channel you subscribe our channel share our video and thank you so much for your precious time stay blessed have a nice day and stay tuned with promind